Uh, hi guys, my name is Buena. Uh, this week's challenge, uh, sponsored by Orly, is to create uh, extending nails on a single hand using Builder in a Bottle. The theme is seeing clearly. So I have decided to show you our scientist. Have you heard of Nikola Tesla? I hope you have. But in case you haven't, it's time to meet him. He was inventor, electrical and mechanical engineer, best known uh, for alternating current electricity supply system. In his time, uh, people thought he was weird and many scientists thought his inventions. But today, uh, the picture has changed and we all can see clearly that he was a genius who changed the world. Uh, he built the first hydroelectric power plant in Niagara Falls and he was the first to send sound waves to space. This is my first time to use an Orly's Builder in a Bottle. For the embellishments I have used a balloon. As you can see, I have blown and tied it. Then I put a builder gel over it. After curing, I blown it up by scissors. I made two small balls. For the second embellishment, I've done the same thing, only the balloon is bigger. I made two semispheres. I've drawn an inside gel embellishment. I've picked it up after curing, placed it on a clear gel ball, which I painted afterward. The bulb is now ready. Here is its final look. I've colored a small ball pink with white dots. I made a wax paper straw, put some builder on it, color it and uh, shape it smaller. My inspiration for this sphere is Tesla's plasma light ball. I've drawn thin lines made by mixed colors and cured them. Uh, then I've painted several pink dots inside one hemisphere and connected them with those lines. I sketched Nikola Tesla's portrait on a paper. My tip for you, if you uh, find it easier, you can copy it. Then I put a duct tape over it so I could peel it off later. First, I put one layer of a builder as a base. As you can see, I'm painting the portrait. Bear in mind, it is very important to create shadows and highlights so that your portrait has a depth and looks realistic. I've made Tesla's formula using the same technique as for the portrait. One layer of gel as a base and after color it. The last embellishments are made in the same way. Put some gel polish on a wax paper, cure it, drawn the letters and cut them. After preparing the nails, I've placed uh, the paper nail forms as you can see. I put the first layer of a builder gel on it. I've encapsulated some glitter, cure it and after that I put one more layer of a builder gel on the top. I must say that I like this builder gel very much because it's easy to work with it and it's self-leveling. After extending the second nail, I placed a letter embellishments and encapsulated them. I've extended the rest of the nails. For the ring nail design, I've encapsulated a wire in it. After removing a sticky layer, I start to pile nails. I must say that this gel is very easy to file. I've put a top coat on the nails and placed the embellishments on them. I hope you like my final design. 
Bye.